कैसे बैलेंस करती हैं आप इंटेलिजेंस को एंड एंड फन एलिमेंट को आई डोंट थिंक उस पे कुछ बैलेंस करने की जरूरत है आई वुड लाइक टू थिंक आई लाइक टू फ्लैटर माय सेल्फ एंड थिंक दैट आई एम इंटेलिजेंट आई डोंट थिंक दोनों एक दूसरे से म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव हैं जब आपकी पहली फिल्म बहुत ही फैन फेयर के साथ में आती है उतनी कामयाब नहीं होती है हाउ डू हाउ डू टेक इट बचपन से यशराज की फिल्में देखी हैं और इस फिल्मी दुनिया को बहुत दूर से देखा है कभी ज्यादा ऑब्जर्व नहीं किया तो मैं इसको अपने एक्टिंग करियर को एक फिल्म के नजरिए से नहीं देखती आई लुक एट इट एज मोर ऑफ अ लॉन्ग टर्म परस्पेक्टिव फिल्म विल कम फिल्म नहीं इतनी जल्दी नहीं क्योंकि मुझे तैयार होने में टाइम लगता था उस कैरेक्टर के लिए तो मैं शायद सबसे पहले सेट पे मैं ही आती थी अंधेरे में सुबह सुबह और फिर आई थिंक बाय द टाइम आई टू गेट रेडी एवरीवन एल्स यूज्ड टू बी देयर योर नेक्स्ट वर्किंग विद विद द जॉन इब्राहिम इन तेहरान अह या आई मीन दैट्स द नेक्स्ट दैट वाज अनाउंस्ड डू यू डू डू एनी पर्सनल रिसर्च एज़ वेल और यू जस्ट फॉलो द स्क्रिप्ट प्राइमरी रिसर्च इज द स्क्रिप्ट बट ऑब्वियसली देयर इज अ लॉट मोर एज एन एक्टर दैट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू नो डू यू हैव एनी पैरामीटर्स व्हेन व्हेन स्क्रिप्ट्स कम टू यू दैट मे बी दिस इज समथिंग दैट दैट यू वुडंट वांट टू बी पार्ट ऑफ you know a film is a director's medium it's someone's perspective it's a story and har kisi ko wo story alag hi lagti hai hi this is manushi and you're watching connect fm canada with faridun stay connected manushi welcome on connect fm canada kaise hain aap hi main theek hu aap kaise ho main bahut acha hu और राइट सो मनुष्य मेरा पहला सवाल आपसे ये होगा मैं आपके इंटरव्यूज़ देख रहा था आज uh, मुझे एक एक ख्याल आया एक, एक सवाल मेरे जहन में आया कि कंसिडरिंग uh, आप मिस वर्ल्ड विनर हैं uh, क्या ऐसा होता है कि जब आप कोई भी इंटरव्यू करती हैं या फिर आप किसी से किसी से भी एक पब्लिक स्पीकिंग लेवल पे अगर आपकी बातचीत होती है सो पीपल एक्सपेक्ट यू टू गिव दैट परफेक्ट आंसर ईच टाइम आई थिंक परफेक्ट आंसर की नहीं पर एक सही आंसर की एक्सपेक्टेशन हमेशा रहती है बिकॉज आप आपको जिस तरह का प्लेटफॉर्म दिया जाता है लाइक फॉर मी इट वॉज मिस वर्ल्ड इट कम्स विद अटन सेंस ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एंड देर आर लॉट ऑफ यंग बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स हु टेन टू लुक अप टू यू एंड टेन टू लुक अप टू दैट पोजिशन दैट यू होल्ड फॉर दैट वन ईयर सो देर इज अंस ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी सो ऑफकोर्स जो आप कहते हो क्योंकि इतने लोग सुनते हैं और इतने लोग समझने की कोशिश करते हैं so the the fact the very fact very that it resonates with so many people it's really important to say the right thing and that expectation is always there all right right thing and and something original something human as well of course I think uh, uh, the very fact कि uh, हम बहुत ही आम लड़कियां होती है जिनको इतनी बड़ी opportunity दी जाती है तो mm-hmm. कहीं ना कहीं एक people's connect भी बहुत important है so I feel that लोग बहुत अप्रिशिएट करते हैं अगर आप रियल होलवेज ट्राइंग टू साउंड राइट ओके ना आपके लिए कितना जरूरी है एक सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ रीडिंग करना या फिर एक सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ परस्पेक्टिव रखना या फिर मालूम को हासिल करके रखना ये कितना इम्पोर्टेंट है आपके लिए आई थिंक नॉट जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ वॉट आई डू ऑफकोर्स क्योंकि मुझे इतनी जगह बात करने का मौका मिलता है तो इट रियली हेल्प्स इफ यू आर वेल रेड एंड इफ यू नो अबाउट अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स बट एट द सेम टाइम पर्सनली आई मैं अपने आप को एक बहुत ही क्यूरियस uh, इंसान मानती हूँ uh, मुझे अच्छा लगता है अपने काम के बाद कट ऑफ करके किसी चीज के बारे में पढ़ना किसी चीज के बारे में जानना मैं बहुत ही डिफरेंट फील्ड से हूँ मैं साइंस की फील्ड से हूँ इसीलिए वो एक क्यूरियोसिटी uh, और एक स्टूडेंट माइंड हमेशा रहता है कि, और क्योंकि मैं मेडिसिन uh, पढ़ रही थी डॉक्टर बनने की तैयारी कर रही थी तो uh, पढ़ाई करना कहीं ना कहीं आपके uh, एक रूटीन का हिस्सा बन जाता है तो वो शायद मैंने कभी छोड़ा नहीं और वो अच्छी बात है क्योंकि आज जब मैं एक्टिंग कर रही हूँ तो वो कहीं ना कहीं द फैक्ट कि मैं uh, मुझे पढ़ना पसंद है मुझे यू uh, नो you know, किसी सिनारी के बारे में किसी सिचुएशन के बारे में समझना अच्छा लगता है uh, जानना अच्छा लगता है तो वो मुझे हेल्प भी करता ओके okay, एक uh... एक चीज़ होती है इंटेलिजेंट आंसर्स देना एक इनफॉर्म्ड वेल इनफॉर्म्ड एक एक ओपिनियन uh, होना एट द सेम टाइम फॉर फॉर समवन सो यंग एक वो एक एलिमेंट ऑफ फन भी इक्वली इम्पॉर्टेंट है uh, कैसे बैलेंस करती हैं आप इंटेलिजेंस को एंड एंड फन एलिमेंट को आई डोंट थिंक उस पर कुछ बैलेंस करने की जरूरत है 
I would like to think, I'd like to flatter myself and think that I'm intelligent. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, I don't think dono ek dusre se mutually exclusive hai. Ye aapke life ki alag alag aspects hai. Agar aap apne aap ko intellectually grow karna chahate ho. Uh, agar aap, aur mera ye manna hai ki you have to be informed before being opinionated. Uh, opinions bohut mm-hmm. logo ke hote hai, lekin कहीं ना कहीं आपको उसके बारे में जानना भी जरूरी है यू नो नॉट यू शुड नॉट जस्ट हैव एन ओपिनियन बिकॉज यू थिंक दैट्स द राइट थिंग टू डू आई थिंक इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू बी इनफॉर्म एंड इसको बैलेंस करने में आई डोंट थिंक दिस अ बिग चैलेंज इन बैलेंसिंग दिस यू नो लाइफ इज फन लाइफ इज सपोज टू बी फन बट दैट डजेंट हैव टू कम एट द कॉस्ट टू बींग फ्रिवलेस आई थिंक दैट्स दैट्स वेरी वेरी वेल सेड ओके सो जब आपकी पहली फिल्म बहुत ही फैन फेयर के साथ में आती है उतनी कामयाब नहीं होती है तो फॉर फॉर अ यंगस्टर हुज हुज लिटरली लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू 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 अ फर्स्ट फिल्म हाउ डू हाउ डू टेक इट आई थिंक पहली बात तो मेरे लिए बहुत ही बड़ी अपॉर्चुनिटी थी तो वो आई कॉन्ट टेक दैट अवे फ्रॉम द लॉन्च दैट आई गॉट बचपन से यशराज की फिल्में देखी हैं uh, और इस फिल्मी दुनिया को बहुत दूर से देखा है कभी uh, ज्यादा ऑब्जर्व नहीं किया और आते ही आपको इतना बड़ा लॉन्च मिल जाए और इतनी अच्छी एक तरह से ट्रेनिंग भी मिलती है क्योंकि आप इतने एक्सपीरियंस लोगों के साथ काम करते हो तो मैं इसको अपने एक्टिंग करियर को एक फिल्म के नजरिए से नहीं देखती आई लुक एट इट एज मोर ऑफ अ लॉन्ग टर्म परस्पेक्टिव फिल्म विल कम फिल्म गो आई हैव टू गिव माई बेस्ट एंड आई थिंक द फैक्ट दैट ईच फिल्म हैज टू टीच यू एंड हैव टू ग्रो विद ईच फिल्म इज वॉट रियली मैटर्स अफकोर्स क्योंकि इतना लंबा वेट हुआ था Uh, अपने तरफ से तो पूरा बेस्ट कोशिश की थी कि आई आई गिव माय बेस्ट इन माय डेब्यू फिल्म तो कहीं ना कहीं एक एक्सपेक्टेशन थी कि अच्छा अभी इतना वेट हो गया है तो अब रिलीज हो ही जाए और यू नो यू होप कि योर फर्स्ट फिल्म इट शुड डू रियली वेल इट ऑब्वियसली डेंट डू एज वेल सो फॉर फॉर आई थिंक अ ब्रीफ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम यू डू फील अटल बिट ऑफ अ डिसअपॉइंटमेंट बट एट द एंड ऑफ द डे क्योंकि आप तो यू मीट सो मेनी एक्टर्स इन यू टॉक टू दम आई थिंक it's not possible to always have hits your way or uh, you know to always do well i think in the film industry success ratio bhi bahut kam hai uh, i like i like to read about things and i like to know more about things and i i feel a little more comfortable about situations that way and uh, i think i realized that uh, this is you know your life will change with each film aur meri kyunki sirf ek hi film aayi hai halaki usne itna acha nahi kiya jitna main chahti thi ya jitna humne expect kiya tha lekin it is it gave me a platform for the other films that i've done afterwards and i think uh, fortunately for me i didn't get a lot of blunt for it i think there was a lot of appreciation as well so uh, i i got i got all good things out of that film so are you a morning person or you're you're a, you're a late late night person i am mostly a morning person <laughs> so did that help you in coping with akshay kumar's uh, timings I think generally we had to shoot in the sunlight, uh, in the daylight, uh, and we had so we had to start shooting in the morning, and we had to wrap by like five thirty because we would lose light otherwise. So even the director, generally the whole film was supposed to be set, uh, you know, during uh, from you know in the, in a nine to five shift. So, मुझे तो बहुत मजा आता था that you know go early, come back early, and then sleep early. And I think right. it suited him as well. No, it suits him perfectly. So I was speaking to Sunakshi Sinha the other day, other day, and she said that, um, I had radio, I had radio promotions to do, and Akshay, Akshay sir told told me ki that, uh, so at six o'clock, you come, it will be soon, it will be free. Ho to, so, have you had any such experience? Have you had such experience that you? No, no, it it not so quickly, no, because I was ready to be ready for that character, and there were some things. आई थिंक कॉस्ट्यूम में बहुत टाइम लगता था बिकॉज कई चीजें दे टू लिटरली स्टिच ऑन टॉप ऑफ मी देर नॉट देवर इट वॉज ऑल हैंड एम्ब्रॉयडर्ड एंड उन्होंने कोशिश की थी कि उस समय की हम कारीगरी यूज करें तो वो इतना कंफर्टेबल नहीं रहता था तो अ लॉट ऑफ इट हैड टू बी स्टिच आफ्टर आई वोर द कॉस्ट्यूम तो मुझे आई थिंक कम से कम दो घंटे तो लगते थे तैयार होने में तो मैं शायद सबसे पहले सेट पे मैं ही आती थी अंधेरे में सुबह सुबह और फिर आई थिंक बाई द टाइम आई टू गेट रेडी एवरी वन एल्स टू बी देर ओके 
all right <laughs> okay, that i'm sure i'm, I'm sure that uh, this won't be the case in in many of the movies most of the movies that you'll do okay and then after uh, after the first first film you you next working with with the john abraham in Te- tehran uh yeah i mean that's the next that was announced <laughs> so uh, tehran yeah. and uh, operation valentine have been announced yeah right so uh, obviously uh, tehran is uh, is an intense subject uh, john is, uh, is is known to be very passionate about um, about uh, films that are intelligent that that are having certain perspective um so how was the experience of preparing for for a film like that i think tehran uh, happened very quickly for me um mm-hmm. i didn't even realize that i've signed it uh, i didn't get as much of a prep time as i did in my other films uh so for me it was a very quick uh you know quickly just get into the film get into the zone uh so a lot of prep was done while i was shooting as well aur main ye kahungi ki mujhe ek cheez us film ke bare mein bahut achhi lagi that there is no picking of sides it's more from an individual's perspective it's more from an indian's perspective um and i think uh, that was one thing that i really liked about the film because usually with certain films that touch certain sensitive topics uh you know people can tend to feel that they are uh, by a, a little biased or bending towards one side i like the fact that tehran doesn't pick sides okay so um when when you when you get a film like tehran for example what sort of research do you do do you do, you do any personal research as well or you just follow the script um see of course the first thing uh, the very first thing the primary research mm-hmm. is the script but obviously there's a lot more as an actor that you have to do you have to know um your director becomes a big mentor and a big guide for you because uh, jinhone script likhi hoti hai aur jis jo uh, jinke nazariye se aap film dekh rahe ho unka perspective samajhna bahut zaruri hai uh, uske sath hi i remember uh, you know he told me the first time when he gave me the narration uh, arun sir told me that this is uh, you know if you've seen sikario this is more of that zone i i i want that feel i want that grungy and i want that real feel to it uh so for as an actor you have that you know you kind of understand the world that it is and at the same time you get feeling about these issues uh you know there's so much in the international news about uh you know the politics that's going on the different perspectives uh so kahin na kahin i think it becomes interesting also when you work on such films i think i find it very interesting to read different people's perspectives on the same issue uh to wo kahin na kahin i think that also uh helped a lot it it uh, there was a lot of curiosity to learn more about what's actually happening and uh, you know how are different people reacting to this i can't give you a lot of information about it because i would really want you to watch the film and then uh, you know uh, understand what uh, the film is about but uh, kyuki there is a lot of opinions and there are a lot of politics and there are different things involved and of course there are uh, certain uh, true events from which we have taken inspiration of course the characters everything else is fiction so uh, just to know better to uh, to understand the world and to understand the motivation of your character better it obviously helps so there and the good thing is that uh, what there is a lot of debate currently and there has been a lot of debate in history uh, around the topic that we've touched in there Okay now um what sort of uh, films uh, of similar genre did you see I think it's a very uh, John's space I think uh, he very well uh, does films that do touch upon his love for his country but at oh. the same time uh, have a very responsible take over sensitive issues that are happening in the world so uh, I think this is very much his playground and what he's really good at uh so i think that's the genre that i would uh, i would put it in of course uh, there's action um there's uh, you know i think action is the the biggest element and of course if you have john in a film then uh, you know i think he is uh, someone who's very very good with it what i like is that the action is very real it's uh, not it's not as filmy as you know you would expect for it to be so i think that's that was a very different experience for me i think what i did with uh with samrat prithvi raju with any other any of the other films that i've had an experience with uh they've been more about there is a little bit of you know dramatic uh, in there's it's more uh, 
you know the more dramatic there's a little bit of uh, slight exaggeration you know you want to see the larger picture you want to so i think uh, from that perspective tehran was very real okay what about operation Val- valentine i'm still filming for operation mm-hmm. valentine uh, i still have to finish it but it's one of the uh, one of the most exciting scripts i've ever read i still remember when i uh, got the script to read before i actually got on board uh, with them i was on my way to scotland to shoot for tehran so i was on the flight and uh, i started reading the script and this is the very first time in my life that you know sometimes because scripts are a lot of reading and sometimes you 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 kind of have to push yourself through towards the end of it to finish it this was the first time that i was reading a script and i literally wanted to know what happened next and mm. uh, i love the fact uh, that my character in the film is so well written mm. i think i absolutely mm. fell in love with her uh, i i feel that there was a, there's a lot of relatability there's a lot of uh, every every woman in that in that character and i wish i could speak more about it but uh, i think with operation valentine i have really enjoyed of course shakti this is his first feature film but i love the fact that because he's a lawyer his research is so strong and he's so adamant on this is what i want and this is what you have to deliver uh, that that clarity of a director really helps an actor to look into a certain direction Uh, for me i i love it when you know a director is really clear with what they want and luckily i've gotten to work with such directors um and at the same time because his research is so good it's it's such a well written script and it's of course uh, on the air force and since my father is from the ministry of defense he's he's not uh, in the armed forces but i have had a certain exposure so kai baar wo na fauji ke jo chote chote nuances hote hain wo kai baar film mein miss kar jati hain and because you've seen the fauji background you know i've seen my uncle is in the army and i've seen a lot of times he'd be like this doesn't make sense army mein aisa nahi hota waisa nahi hota but uh, what i love is that this is so well researched and it's so well uh, written so there were two aspects i felt that uh, of course the fact that uh, you know the writer and the director knew what they were doing with the script and at the same time i loved the way it was written because not a lot of scripts have such well written female characters and such well defined female characters and i like the fact that you know these boys had written it so well okay and uh, uh, manushi uh, we have seen in the recent times that um certain certain films the way they are made and uh, as you yourself said that maybe um they don't present uh, both the sides and that's what you like about that and that it presents both the sides A- actors have been criticized in the recent times for 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 doing certain films um do you have any parameters uh, when when scripts come to you that maybe this is something that that you wouldn't want to be part of see the first thing is that i i've just started out so uh, my options are also uh, kind of limited but at mm. the same time uh, because i've also been an audience i have not come across a lot of scripts that you know are uh, completely driven are, are are actually picking a side i don't think i have come across a script uh, like that so i've never had that choice i've never had that uh, i've never reached that stage where i had to make a choice uh, but at the same time i'd say that uh, you know a film is a director's medium it's someone's perspective it's a story and har kisi ko wo story alag hi lagti hai you know uh, this very uh, you know the the very a uh, same glass some people will see it as half full some some people will see it as half empty the very same bird you know uh, someone would want to admire it someone would want to make a painting of it or take a picture of it someone would want to hunt it down so everyone has a different perspective of looking at the same thing um as intellectuals of course that's something which uh, you can uh, you know you you need you need to tolerate that everyone will have a different opinion but at the same time uh, because actors are influencers in the society uh, and a lot of people tend to emulate what actors do so from a personal uh, you know from an actor's angle there is a certain level of responsibility to uh, not blatantly pick a side 